up to the release of Fortnite Creative 2.0, by far the most anticipated feature for many people was a terrain editor and better terrain tools. And with the release of UEFN, we finally have these tools. I've always wanted to create my own look for terrain that would really separate my creations from others that people make. I want to create a custom material for my own style of landscape. And as you'll see later on, I struggled from things that I didn't even think I'd struggle from. So just tag along, strap in, and enjoy, I guess. The first thing I ended up doing is going into Blender and modeling blades of grass, which you can see on screen now. It's probably the most important part of the landscape because it adds the most detail. It took a shocking amount of time to learn how to model grass, believe it or not. There's all these weird little quirks you have to do when you export it, and it it's just... It took way too long, man. Okay, so as you can see here, we, I have finally reached a point to where you can see we have grass on the landscape. And I think it's looking pretty good. We can uh, have grass with or without the blades, as you can see. Now, we have run into an issue where our grass texture is looking kind of... Tiled. It is seamless, uh, but it is still looking kind of tiled. So I'm gonna have to go in and like <laughs> edit that, I guess. But I mean, yeah, besides that, I think we're looking good so far. I think the grass looks good. Uh, let's keep on chugging along, you know? Okay, so it's a little further uh, down the line. I didn't end up, uh, I didn't end up recording uh, me making all this, but I adjusted the grass a little bit. And now we have this stone texture I made in Photoshop and like, I don't know, 10 minutes. <laughs> And I think it looks pretty decent. If you're curious on what it looks like in game, uh, here you go. I think it's looking pretty snazzy. Now I don't actually know what I'm going to do next. I think I want to try and add tiny pebbles on the ground that you can find and, uh, Maybe some flowers here and there. I don't know. We'll see. I decided I wanted to make flowers next. So I went off and made this texture for the flowers uh, following this YouTube tutorial. But uh, as you can see, it, it did not it, it did not end up looking good at all. I, I, I kind of. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. So, you know, after spending an hour trying to figure out how to do that, uh, I scrapped it and then I decided to model. I said I decided to model a flower instead. Keep in mind, I have little to no experience uh, modeling things in Blender, so this was this was quite the experience. Okay, I am back, and after a few hours of trying to tweak this to make it look right, as you can see, our landscape now finally includes flowers in it. These took me way too long to create, uh, but luckily now that I have them made, I can use them in any project I need to use them in. So I guess that's a good thing, right? But I think this is coming along really well. One thing I wanted to see is how well it blended with the normal Fortnite style, and I think it'll look just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Let's just copy a bit of this house here. Yeah, it's going to look completely fine. Now, what this custom landscape is going to do is it's going to give uh, this Rex Royale remake a distinctive style that you won't be able to get with any other map. So despite us still using the Fortnite prefabs and all that, the map is still going to look pretty damn unique. However, that doesn't mean I am completely done yet. I still want to add tiny little details. Uh, I want to add like pebbles on the ground, maybe a different type of flower besides, you know, just having white flowers everywhere. Who knows how long that's going to take me, but you know, we'll, I get, we'll see, I guess, right? Okay, so funny story. Everything I said in the previous clip, I didn't oh, actually what? end up doing. I just decided to tweak what I already have and uh yeah it kind of evolved into what i have here i'm kind of really happy with how this is looking and i think this is going to finally shape up to be what i actually use to create this map I i've been tweaking textures the shading the, the, <laughs> the everything about them as you can see the ground here is a little more detailed the stone if you pay pay close attention is also a little more detail there you can see it there a little bit so let's actually hop into unreal engine and i can show you what i've done Alrighty, so here i am in unreal engine let's just go to our landscape material i have created now if you have no idea what you're looking at right here 
And don't worry, you don't have to. All this is doing right here is making the textures look a little less repetitive. And, you know, that just, that makes things look a whole lot better. <laughs> This uh, landscape stuff is what I have been focusing on for the past few months. So I think it, it better look good, right? It better look at least decent. And these textures over here uh, with the uh, sort of sandy, muddy texture, I didn't really bother with. I figured uh, this texture is gonna be used underwater mostly. So it, it, you know, you're not really gonna pay close attention to it. So I, I didn't really tweak it as much. But there's still one more thing I want to do. I want to add tiny little rocks and pebbles that can be found along the ground. Nothing major, really low poly rocks because they're going to be pretty small. But before I do that, please consider subscribing. I'm going to be uploading more consistently now. All things Fortnite Creator 2.0. I'm probably going to start playing some maps on this YouTube channel. But without further ado, uh, I'll see you guys over in Blender, which I am <laughs> I am not a master at, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna try my best. So see you over there. Okay, here we are in Blender. Like I said, I was going to do. We're gonna model something very simple, uh, a little pebble. Now just to be clear, I'm very new to Blender, okay? So you are very much, um, you're, you're seeing a novice at work here. But I think uh, creating a small pebble isn't <laughs> isn't a big deal. I think I can handle that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, well, let's get started. Let's start by deleting the default cube. I'm gonna hit Shift A and then add a not a circle. I'm going to add a sphere. Now I don't want too many segments. Honestly, this is going to be a fairly small. It's gonna be a pretty damn small little pebble, right? And because it's going to be so small, I'm actually going to have it uh, look kind of like this. Now, one thing I do want to do is go to File and then Import uh, my grass, uh, my, my grass model. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to compare the size of my little pebble here to the size of my grass. And as you can see, uh, our pebble is a little too, bi too big right now. So I'm going to scale that puppy all the way down. There you go. And I'm also going to squish it a little bit and maybe extendo it like uh, like this. I don't think we need our glass, uh, not our glass. I don't need to need our grass anymore. So uh, let's get that out of here. Let's select our little rock and enter edit mode. Edit mode. Here we go. I'm going to turn on proportional editing and what this will do is it will allow us to basically uh, uh, drag around parts of the model as well as other vertices around it. Vertices are these little uh, dots here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just morph our little pebble here until I have something we are happy with. Now that everything's good, we can go on and then export this thing. And as you can see, we can drag them in here and Look at that. So we have a small little untextured uh, rock right here. Let's go ahead and delete that bad boy. Uh, let's make a material. Why not? Let's add a color. Let's make it uh, a gray-ish. Let's turn up its roughness. So let's make its roughness value one. You can add the normals of our stone texture. And if you zoom in, as you can see, it adds slight amount of detail to our little material here. All right, so here we are in the actual um, testing area. As you can see, we have uh, some a little more detail in our landscape here. You know, all that. We also now have uh, rocks. Look at that. Wow, they're so beautiful. If you want more content like this, subscribe and do all that. Goodbye.